The people who work for Travis Kelsey are doing a great job of putting an end to this idea that he and Taylor Swift broke up. He and Taylor Swift broke up. They are even getting legal help to deal with the drama head on. So here it is. Suppose comprehensive media planned from Travis Kelsey lawyers full scope at a lot of PR talk when around online Tuesday night, making it seem like Travis and Taylor's love story was all made up for media and that they were planning to break up on September 28th. It didn't take long for one sheet to go viral online, especially since some Swifties believe the pop star has finally found the one with, with Travis Scott. Now, a spokesperson from Full Scope categorically denies the alleged plan, telling TMZ the document is entirely false and fabricated and was not created, issued, or authorized by this agency. Uh-huh. Take a look at this clip. Hey, so this is insane. Travis Kelsey has had to deny claims that a contract has been leaked, which claims he's in a fake showmance with Taylor Swift and even leaks the exact date that they had planned to break up. According to this contract, Taylor and Travis were scheduled to break up later this month and Travis would be working with PR team Full Scope to release a breakup statement to stress that the split was gracious, respectful and mutual. The document also detailed alleged examples of a statement that they would release, with one example reading, Travis and Taylor have decided to part ways after careful consideration. They both value and respect each other's personal lives and appreciate your respect for privacy during this time. The alleged document was obtained by the Daily Mail, but a spokesperson for the agency Full Scope have insisted that the documents are fake. They also told the publication that Travis Kelsey has now called in lawyers, saying we have engaged our legal team to initiate proceedings against the individuals or entities responsible for the unlawful and injurious forgery of documents. You know, there's something you all should know about Kelsey. Take a look at this clip. Page six just released an article about Travis Kelsey's dating history. Now, I don't know much about algebra, <laughs> but one plus one is not equaling two. One of these things are not like the other. It's giving PR relationship, big time, huge PR relationship. It's giving there's a contract involved. <laughs> A work obligation, if you will. First up, we have Maya Minberry. Her and Travis were only together for a few months after she won his heart on Travis's dating reality show. This was an extremely awkward dating show that Travis Kelsey had on E! Then we have Kayla Nicole, who he dated on and off for five years. The two met on Instagram when Travis slid into her DM. And honestly, with Kayla, Travis never looked better. This was peak Travis Kelsey. Now, obviously, he's going through some type of metamorphosis, and we haven't seen him look this good in a minute. But for those of us that were there, we remember. After his relationship with Kayla was finally over, he was later linked with Zuri Hall, who is a correspondent for Access Hollywood. I'm not sure they were ever official official. Neither one of them has ever publicly claimed each other. But she was spotted at a Kansas City Chiefs game sitting in Travis's friends and family suite. Seems like that's part of his game. And then finally we get to Taylor Swift. And before Sunday, we were all under the impression that they may or may not have been hanging out. Most of us didn't even believe this was even happening. But Miss Swift popped up at the Kansas City Chiefs game. Yep, sitting in Travis Kelsey's friends and family suite. So has Travis's taste in women changed? Or were the terms and conditions of his new uh, situation just too good not to pass up? I've been saying from day one that this relationship was hella convenient and it definitely brought Travis Kelsey in so much freaking money. I'm going to say that. And I, for a moment there, I actually thought, and you know what? I take that back. It may have been real for a moment. I think it started off as a PR, just like Beyonce and Jay-Z started off as a PR and then it turned real and now it's going to end. That's what I see that has happened with these two. But, hey, you all can be wrong. Tell me your thoughts below.